This is the last day of spring break for local schools. Some will return more kids back to in-person learning as soon as Monday. The West Genesee Central School District has had grades K through 4 learning in person five days a week. And now they're working on bringing back grades 5 through 12. But News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc says one group feels left out of that process, all remote learners. As a mom, Margie Sullivan is worried about her son. He's an honor student at Camillus Middle School, but after learning fully remote for more than a year, his grades are slipping. He misses his friends. He wants to be socialized. Back in the fall, Sullivan didn't feel comfortable sending her son to school because at that time the infection rate was high and nobody was vaccinated. But now both of those factors have changed, so they want to send him back in person. Now that the regulations have been reduced from six feet to three feet, some of the students who are remote want to go back to school. And at least at the middle school, we're told there's no room for them. They can't come back. The district does plan to increase in person learning for all grade levels. For the middle school, they're bringing hybrid learners back four days a week. But for all remote learners, the superintendent agrees there's no room. So remote students are stuck on a waiting list. We all want what's best for kids. And when people say they deserve it, I absolutely agree. And we can do so to the extent possible. For Sullivan, it comes down to equity. Her son only gets remote instruction twice a week. The other three days, he's given assignments to do on his own. That's in comparison to four days of hands on help. The district wants to build its remote plan, but with limited staffing. To uh, completely uh, tear apart the current schedule and rebuild one would create an inordinate amount of changes of those relationships between teachers and students. And honestly, to do that would be malpractice. Sometimes what's best for the kids is uncomfortable for the adults. So I think they need to change the schedules. No matter what it takes. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. The district couldn't provide an answer for how large the remote learning waiting list is for the middle school. The elementary school has one too. They can tell us almost 20% of parents originally preferred the remote option.